Atma Yoga is not a physical exercise. I'm making it very straight and direct. But the very meaning of yoga is finding union with the God or connecting with the God or be in union with the inner self and the supreme self or the universal consciousness. What do you want to say to? In simple term, yoga means finding union with the God, not doing this asanas, whatever. Because in the present world, what we follow is only Patanjali Yoga or we know more about the Patanjali Yoga which has got eight process Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyadhara, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi Let's not talk more about it You can you know, browse yourself or surf yourself and find what is Patanjali Yoga But in simple terms there are various process which makes you to feel connected with the God And the final stage of finding union with the God is called Yoga Like if you are aware about the rishis and siddhas from South India or the great sages from South India like Thirumular, Thirumular Pariyanga Yoga or Swara Yoga from Agastya, Vasi Yoga, Chaya Sangalpa Siddha Yoga, Atha Yoga, Lambika Yoga, Rajataraka Yoga. So all these are various disciplines to reach the final stage called Yoga. So if you find union with the God, which is a place where you can find union with the God? With your hand, with your nails, with your nose, with your kidney or with your spouse or with your friends? No. It is finding union with your inner self, which we call as Atman. Andatil Sarvama Yirupavan, Un Pindatil Virana Yirikira. That which has created the whole universe is right now existing within you as life. And that we call as Atman. The Brahman which has created, the, not the Brahman with the forehead. This is not that Brahman, not a person. A Brahman which has created the whole universe is existing within you as called Atman. Or the Brahman which has created the old universe, the creator of the old universe, the source because of which everything is created in the universe is right now existing within you as Atman, Aham Brahmashmi. So process by which you feel the connection within your own self, which is nothing but finding union with the Supreme Self is called Atma Yoga. And why I need to practice Atma Yoga? Is it essential? I made it very clear, Atma Yoga is not a physical movement. It is the most powerful psychic practice or a very powerful meditation called Atma Dhyana in which you find union within your own self is called Atma Yoga. To do that, you need to have a healthy body, not just a body. Without a good health in a physical body, you can't even meditate. Somebody has got heart problem, can they sit and meditate? It is next to impossible. Somebody has got a kidney problem, they are going for dialysis. They can't meditate every day. Somebody has got a very normal sugar problem. Absolutely, they cannot sit in meditation for us. So to keep good health or to find a connection or to follow the process or instruction which is taught in Atma Yoga, one need to have a healthy body. To have a healthy body, what we teach is called Prana Virti. The process by which you increase the life energy in every single cell of the body so that you experience a good health for the rest of the life. And this is only for physical health because in present world, Atma Dhyana cannot be compared with the meditation which you think as a meditation because in present world meditation anything and everything that you do with your eyes closed is called as meditation. Atma Yogis does not do a meditation which involves closing your external eyes. This is a process in which you open your inner eyes and once you reach that state you want it or not you might not feel the God in you. But God will come and make you experience the God in you. And that process is called Atma Dhyana. Why I need to do it? So by practicing Atma Yoga, you will find union within your own self. In fact, you will know your own self. I like to share a small story. And there is a small boy who always used to play in that, uh, you know, horse made out of clay. Or an elephant which they had which is made out of clay. He used to play there all the time and they keep telling him, don't play, come we have work to do, don't play, we have work to do. And the small child never listened to the parent. So they decided they need to throw the, you know, horse which is made out of clay out of the house. So they kept it out. It was there for a long months or it was there for many days. Uh, one fine day, there was rain. It was raining very heavily. And the very next day, that's a shocking news for them. Or the very next day, they all shocked by looking at the elephant, which is made out of clay. For the rain, any, you know, statue which is made out of clay must have got dissolved. But that never happened to that elephant. When they went and saw, it was an elephant made out of gold. It was not made out of clay. The clay got dissolved in the rain. And what remained is a statue which is made out of gold. And now the whole family is happy. 
because they never expected this kind of resource which is left for them and once it has been exposed to the rain what happened the clay got dissolved and they found it's not a statue made out of clay it is a statue which is made out of gold and from that they started a beautiful life it was never the same it was really amazing for them they prospered in everything and that's the same thing for you once you connect within your own self you want it or not you feel it or not you're getting exposed to a condition wherein you will no more dissolve you will evolve as a new person you raise yourself to the next level because you are not a old statue made out of clay you are a statue made out of gold which is covered or coated using clay you think you are a statue made out of clay you are not a old statue made out of clay you are a gold statue which is coated using clay so when you put yourself to the external condition or the problems which you feel as a problem you will not dissolve anymore you will evolve as a new person the very source of problem will be a source of blessing the very source of resistance will be a source of resource and this can happen only when you know what is your own self or what is your inner self and the process of knowing your own self is called atma yoga is called or the process by which you attain the state of atma yoga is called atma dhyana and that is the reason i tell people atma yoga will give you not anything new or not something extra power it will make you realize the power that you already possess i'm making it very clear atma yoga is not a process which is going to give you extra power or new power which will make you aware about the power which you already have in fact i'll put it in this way from now for you to realize you can face anything and everything once you know your own self because the inner self is the ultimate power which has created everything so that you will be aware that you are not a old statue made out of clay you are a gold statue which is covered using the clay and the process of removing the clay out of you is called the atma dhyana so with the knowledge of the self with the knowledge of the self even an ordinary man can live an extraordinary life without the knowledge of the self even a man with extraordinary knowledge will land up in living not even an ordinary life so practice atma yoga for one simple reason you will not dissolve because of problem you will evolve out of problem you have that power naturally you are blessed with that power naturally just that i am making you aware about it just that i am making you conscious about it i am not teaching any messages or not talking about the messages i am giving you direct instruction or a method by which you have no other choice to prosper in every aspect of life you can't resist the growth anymore you can't feel the problem anymore you need to raise above the present level you will realize that you're not born to suffer you're born to prosper your very nature is so powerful and you're blessed with all the power that you want so from now i wish you all an ever growing and never ending peace health and happiness in every aspect of life aham